In today's video, we will take out the rear bumper of 2012 Honda Accord. First, we lift up the parking brake, then we will lift up the car. I'm using a four-wheeler jack to lift up the car, so I don't really need to pull up the handbrake. But if you're using the regular jack that comes with the car, you must lift up the parking brake, otherwise the car will fall apart. Once we have lifted the car properly, the very first step is we take out the clips from the bottom, from right side and left side, finally from the top. Before we jump into the takeout process, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure to subscribe, like and press the bell icon. We really work hard to make these DIY videos and your subscription will be really appreciated. Now let's jump into the process. Using road upholstery remover, we will take out the first clip. Notice another clip on the other side is missing due to an accident. In your case, make sure to take out that clip as well. In total, there are two clips underneath. That was it from the bottom side. Jumping onto the corners, we will take out the first screw from inner side. This screw is actually part of a cover. In order to take out the rear bumper, we need to remove this cover. That involves taking out two extra screws. The bottom screw has a little tight spot because of the rear tire being there. We will use a small wrench along with a cross bit to remove bottom screw. Once the screw is out, you will see the cover falling apart. Now we take out the screw from the edge connecting the bumper with the quarter panel. Screw is out. Slightly pull the bumper from the edge and with that we are done with this side. Jumping onto the other side, you'll follow the same exact process, taking one inner screw, then two extra screws to remove the cover. Alongside the screw from the edge of the bumper and quarter panel, once all the screws are taken out, then slightly pull the edge of the bumper. Now we jump onto the top side. Notice there is one 10mm screw on one side and the other 10mm screw on the other side. Don't be surprised to see a small cover, it just needs to be removed. We'll be taking out both screws with impact gun and 10mm nut setter. If you don't have the gun, you can use a round head ratchet with a 10mm nut setter if you want. Both screws are out. Now we slightly pull the complete bumper. That was it. Bam shazam. We ended up taking out the rear bumper completely. If this video helps you in any way, smash that like button and subscribe to our channel.